Today, I'm going to show you how to go live on YouTube using StreamYard. So doing live streams on YouTube can be an amazing way for you to interact more with your audience and also rack up a ton of watch time for your channel. On our other channel, we've been going live every week for all of 2021, and it's been a great way for us to interact with our audience and the replays of those live streams tend to do pretty well because they have long average view durations. We did one live stream in November of last year that currently has 20 some thousand views and over 4,000 hours of watch time. So that one live stream basically racked up enough watch time to monetize a YouTube channel. So this isn't maybe something to do if you have 10 subscribers, but if you have a few hundred subscribers, you're looking to monetize your channel, checking out live streams could be an interesting way for you to grow your channel and gain more watch time. So what I wanna do in this video is create an account with StreamYard, connect it with our YouTube channel, schedule a first live, and then actually go live on YouTube. So you can see that entire process from start to finish, just follow along, and then you'll be ready to create your first live for your channel as well. So let's get started. Okay, so here I am at streamyard.com. Let's enter my email address to get started. Okay, so it just sent me a six digit code to my email. All right, let's copy this, go to StreamYard. And this is normally how you're going to log into StreamYard. You don't actually have a password. You're going to be notified when you want to log in and have to put in a six digit code. Okay, here we go. Welcome to StreamYard. Onward. Okay, so the very first thing it's asking me to do is add a destination. So as you can see here, you could add a Facebook page, Facebook group, Facebook profile, LinkedIn page, event profile, Twitch, YouTube, Periscope. So we want to add a YouTube channel today. Uh, choose the email address, choose which of your channels. So the Figco, StreamYard wants to access your Google account, allow. And your YouTube channel was connected, you're all set. Okay, so we're all good to go with that right now. And so the next thing would be to create a broadcast. Okay, so let's create a broadcast. And then so what you can do here, so you could just record something. So if you wanted to create a presentation, record it, and then use that for YouTube or something later, you could skip the broadcast connection to your YouTube channel or Facebook or whatever, and just record. But we actually want to create a live stream. So my first live stream, you could add the description here that would then show up in your YouTube video, but we're going to actually open this up within YouTube in a second. And I'll show you some of the other things that you're gonna to wanna to add. So the description, so with the privacy right here, so you could actually go live right now, have it go public and start transmitting on your YouTube channel. What we like to do is actually notify people a couple hours or even 24 hours beforehand. So if you schedule this for later and put it public, people are gonna be notified that you're going live in an hour and five hours, whatever it is, and they can set a reminder. And it's kind of free advertising on YouTube for this to show up on the homepage of YouTube, for example. So actually right now, tomorrow afternoon, we're gonna go live on our Spanish channel. So if I go to YouTube right now, what you're gonna see is here's our Spanish channel, um, question and answer with Laura, my business partner at 1 p.m. Eastern. So you can see here, we scheduled this ahead of time and we're essentially showing up to our subscribers on the YouTube homepage so they know, hey, we're gonna be live at this time tomorrow. So that's why we end up scheduling it ahead of time, but you could actually just go live right now. Being that I don't wanna notify anyone and I wanna change some other stuff before it's public, I could either click on unlisted if I want to share the link with somebody, share a link with my colleagues or something like that, or I could just mark it as private. So I'm gonna choose unlisted, schedule for later. And then here, essentially the same thing as YouTube. You want to, like you can see from YouTube what I was just showing you, we created this thumbnail ahead of time so that it doesn't just show some random logo from our channel or something like that. It's talking about the live stream thumbnail is basically pitching people to watch this tomorrow. So you're gonna to wanna to create a thumbnail just like any of your other YouTube videos and upload it here within StreamYard. And then so what time do we want to go live? So it's 9.30 right now. Let's say we want to go live at 10 p.m. So in 20 some minutes. And then so you can see we have the title, the description will be blank for now, it's unlisted. Right now we're not gonna add a thumbnail, but for yours, you're gonna wanna do this and then schedule the start time. There, click on create broadcast. And we have our first scheduled broadcast for our YouTube channel. So to add everything else you would for a normal video, we're gonna actually go into YouTube Studio and I'll show you how to do that. So if you're in the YouTube Studio, you know, it's obviously gonna look something like this. If you click on content, 
and then click on live. There we go, I had to hit refresh. So you can see here with no thumbnail, it's just pulling in our YouTube banner. So what we're gonna wanna do now is if you click on the live control room, you can see from here. So I want to schedule a stream for a later time. So start streaming software. Okay, anyways, it lets me get into this. So what I can do here is if I were to click on this, there's some other things that I can go in and change. So the video is unlisted, no description, you know, what is the actual type of video, whatever you normally put. I think ours are usually how to and style. The time, our videos are not made for kids. And here and a couple of other places from StreamYard, you're not turning on monetization. You need to do that within YouTube Studio. So monetization on, save. And then let's see if there's anything else that we need to do on this page. I think we're all set. So what we're gonna wanna do is get out of this kind of live streaming piece of YouTube Studio and then to go back to the normal just YouTube Studio. And then so here, if you click on details within the live stream, so this is probably where I would go and fill in all of the description. Again, here's an option to add the thumbnail. This is pretty similar to just any other video, you could add it to a playlist. Um, here's again, is the is it made for kids or not? And then you could go through and create a bunch of tags like you would for any other video. So you can see that those are essentially the, the settings that you would wanna set up before you actually go live. So that way YouTube has a really good idea what the video is gonna be about. And then when you go live and for the replay, it already has all the information. It can go out and find other people to show the replay of your live stream to. Okay, so that's basically what you need to do pre live stream. Then from there, so what I would wanna do is at somewhere in here, if I want this to actually show up like what I just showed you for the Spanish one, I would change the visibility from unlisted to public and then save these changes. But for right now, this is just gonna be an unlisted live stream so you can kind of follow along and see how everything works. So the next thing to do here, so we're all set within YouTube Studio. I could go back to StreamYard. And then what you can see here, so I have this scheduled, it was created at 9.33, scheduled for 10 p.m. And then I'm ready to start getting into the live stream. So what I could do here is just click on Enter Broadcast Studio and it's going to bring me into the live stream. So when you come to this screen, what you can do is you can change your display name. So do I wanna say JJ, Jeff, whatever, let's leave it at JJ. Um, I can mute my microphone if I wanted to. I could stop the camera. There are some mic and camera settings that you can adjust from right here. So we're using this webcam. There's some advanced features. So what resolution do you want to be streaming at? And so I would recommend, I'm not sure what the free version, I'm on a free trial right now. The free version might not be 720p. If you use their highest plan, which is I think $39 a month, you can actually live stream in 1080p. If that's something important is the quality of your videos, that might be something worth checking out. And so let's say 720p. The audio, it is using the same, the camera microphone, green screen so you can add a green screen but it does use up computer resources so you know make sure that you have the bandwidth essentially to do it with all that set all of my settings are good to go i can click on enter broadcast studio so what you're going to see here is essentially i'm down in the bottom corner right now i'm not being shown at all so you're not part of the stream yet click add to add your audio and video and so what I basically need to do is there's nothing up here right now. So there's a couple of things I can do. If I just click add to stream, then here I am, you know, on the main stream. And then, so this is essentially backstage right now. So if I'm ready to actually go live, you can see up here is where you would go live at. We can deal with that in just a second. So right now this would be the, the audio is coming through on the stream, but the stream is not being pushed to YouTube. So I just wanna go through right now all the options that you have available to you. So again, what you can do here is you have mute, that you can turn off your camera. What I could do here is share my screen. So one of the things here is before you start the live stream, you can get what you wanna share set up and ready to go. So if I go to share, you can share a video file. We'll get into that in a second, but I think it's up to a hundred megabytes and no longer than five minutes. You could show a YouTube video or something else if you wanted to. So I could say share screen, that's like, it's easy if you have two monitors. I just have one right now, having a good computer. And then there's another option of 
some screens let you share audio. So if you wanted to actually play a YouTube video, you would want to share audio. So what we can do here is my entire screen and application window or say a Chrome tab. So I have a couple of tabs open in Chrome right now. Let's say I wanna open up our YouTube channel. So I could click on this and you see the little button right here that says share audio. So this audio is going to be then streamed to people who are watching the live stream on YouTube. So if I wanted to click that, I could then click share. And so you can see up at the top now, it says sharing this tab to streamyard.com. And then I could go back to StreamYard and you can see that it already added this on screen. And so if I wanna change the dimensions of this at all, if I want to get rid of my camera, I can click on this option. If I wanted to be larger on screen with this showing up smaller, I could do that like so. And if I want it, what I can do now is if I click on remove. So I have this, this here basically in the wings ready to go. So I can start talking, do my live stream. I don't have to fumble with finding how to share something. It's just right there, add to screen, good to go. So before we actually publish this, I wanna show you basically all the other options that you have available. So these are the comments. So this is actually gonna pull in the comments, the chat that you're getting from YouTube while you're live. The next thing down below are banners. So you could just click on this to show and you can see this is an example banner. You know, I can go hide it, the same thing here. I can create one. And so I can actually have it scroll across the bottom as a ticker. So, hello, I am a banner, add banner. And then if I click on it to show, you can see it's gonna look something like that. Then, you know, to undo that, I'm just gonna click here. Moving down further, you have your branding. So you can add, you know, your main brand color that you can see is pulling down here with my name. Then you can choose from four different themes. So you have default, minimal looks like this, bubble or block. I think I like the bubble one. If you're on a free plan, this is always gonna show up. I'm on a free trial right now, so I could actually do a live stream without the StreamYard logo. But if you're on the free plan, basically this is gonna be showing up in the core corner of your screen for your live streams. Uh, we can turn that off for now. And then you can set up overlays. If you want your logo or text or other things on screen, you can essentially set up something like this. So this is gonna be you know, shown throughout your, your live stream. Then the next thing is here's where you could essentially upload video clips beforehand and let them play. So something that would be a good idea to do for the very beginning of your live a lot of times is to have people come in, know how much longer that they have to wait, before you go live and then just start off as if you would start a normal YouTube video. So you could just add this video. And then so what's gonna happen here is I am on mute. You can see if you look at the screen down here that I'm muted and I can unmute it, but this video is playing at the moment. So again, anything, if you basically click on the second time, it's gonna get rid of, brings me back, unmutes me, and then you know my audio is here again. The other thing that you're gonna see is a background. So if you want a background, that's gonna show up in a couple of different options. So on some of these options where the videos and things do not take up the entire screen, this background is gonna be basically shown around it. So if I were to choose this background and then I were to remove myself, you're gonna see the leaf background. And then if I were to go and choose, say, if I turn myself back on, add to stream, and then if I were to choose, say, this option and add this to the stream, you can see the outlines of the leaf design right here. Again, let's remove that from the stream. Let's go back to this. Okay, so let's say right now is the time to actually go live on YouTube. What I'm gonna do here is click on go live. Okay, you aren't scheduled until 10 p.m., but you're welcome to start early. So, all right, let's go live. And then so I am now broadcasting live on YouTube. This video is unlisted though. So the only people that would access this are people that you know have the actual link to the live stream. So what I could do now, let's see, I'll just, I'll open up the live stream on say my personal YouTube and then, okay, so as you can see right now, I am up on the live stream on, as an unlisted video on YouTube. Now a live chat, say, so I can actually, let me, let me show you what it looks like. Let's go back to closing out of the branding and then let's go to comments. So I have my colleagues come in and adding some comments. 
This is from, from my personal YouTube. I'll add a comment as well. Okay, so you can see that there's some comments starting to come in there. The other thing that you can do is if you, the same thing we did with the banner earlier, I could actually bring up this comment and it's gonna show up here. So each one of these is gonna have a slightly different uh, format. So if you remember before, we chose the branding for bubble. If I chose minimal, it's gonna come in and look like this. Going back to chat, so I can show my comment up here. If I click on it again, it's gonna hide this comment. So the next thing I wanna do is show you how to invite someone else to your live stream. So what you can do here, is just click on the invite button, copy to clipboard, and then you can just essentially send this link to anybody else. So being that I'm doing this by myself at about 10 o'clock at night, I'm just going to add myself on this live stream. So what you can see here, what I'm doing now is adding myself from my iPhone, and you can see that I show up right here. So what I could do now is I could add this, add myself to the stream, and you can see, you know, here I am right now talking to my phone camera. And so I can take the other person off of the stream. I can come with a couple of different ways to like, how do I wanna display this? So if we wanna bring up this stream, and then if I wanna add camera two, it's gonna look something like this. If I wanted to show the two of us, so there's two different options here. You can see this has the leaf background that I showed you earlier, or this option would be um, zoomed in slightly more. So you have this fills up much more of the screen in this view. This one, you have a full width video for, you know, every person that's connected or here, if we wanted to show some type of presentation or something that we were all looking at together. So, you know, if I wanted to go through and change this, I could remove this screen share. If I wanted to go back to stop sharing, then I can go to share, share screen, share again, Chrome tab, and let's say I wanted to go through our masterclass. So if I want to go through a presentation, you know, you and a guest want to go through a presentation, you could do that like so. Here again, just the two of us. Okay, so for example, if I wanted to take the other guest off, hey, you know, thanks for joining us. We'll see you later. I can then, rem you know, remove them from the live stream. Then I can, from there, essentially kick them off of the stream. So I'm, I could ban myself if I chose to or just say kick from studio, kick guest, and it's just back to me uh, by myself on the live stream again. And so the other thing here, so you see the different comments here. One of the other things that you can do, so you have this private chat here. So if me and Jeff too want to have a conversation together, we can write back and forth um, in the private chat here where the comments are essentially what is gonna show up on the YouTube channel. So I could post a comment to the actual live stream on YouTube by writing right here. And then this is just for the participants of the live stream. And then from here, again, you have the settings if there's anything that needs to be changed. So the camera, the audio, green screen, and the guest. Guest sees viewers' comments, um, play sound when guests enter. Guest must authenticate. Okay, so when I'm done, so I'm done with the live, what I can essentially do is click on end broadcast here and Broadcast has ended. How did it go? Good or bad? Let's say that it went well. And then if I'm all done here, I can obviously just click on leave studio and we are finished. Okay. And so one other thing I want to show you in StreamYard is the pricing. So you can see the pricing tab down here. So here are the three different plans that they have. Um, you can pay either monthly or annually. So the free plan, you can screen share, have banners, on-screen comments. You can have up to six participants have your brand color, green screen, the StreamYard branding will be on your streams. And then there are streaming limits of 20 hours per month. If you upgrade, then you get, you can take off the branding. You can have unlimited streaming up to 10 guests. You can add your logo, and then you can actually record four hours of the stream. And then the, the, the professional one that I mentioned, I think earlier on is you can record up to eight hours. You can actually send your live stream to eight different destinations where here was three. So, you know, different YouTube channels, LinkedIn, Facebook, you know, wherever you want, and then you get the 1080p streaming with that plan. Ready to go live on YouTube to grow your channel? If not, don't worry. We have tons of other tips for you to help you grow your channel. I'll link to our playlist along the side right here. Hope to see you in those and other videos. Bye-bye.